this is my bedroom, although I don't sleep here anymore. I love to shop. I guess I'm a compulsive shopper. Mostly I shop at yard sales and thrift stores, and I never leave empty-handed. Uh, it's the thrill of getting a deal, you know? I have so much stuff, I just can't get rid of it. My oldest daughter is 17, and she lives with her dad more and more these days. When she comes over, I'm so embarrassed because she has to step over so many piles and boxes to get to a chair. I miss her so much. My 14-year-old daughter, Riley, lives with me. And my girls really don't say too much to me about my hoarding because they don't want to hurt my feelings. Riley goes over to her friend's house to play and I understand. I wouldn't have anyone over here. I haven't had anyone in my house since I don't know how long it's been. Ten years ago, my son Aiden died at birth. I went into labor early Sunday morning and I packed the car with the car seat and the blankets and the diapers and the outfits and drove to the hospital. His heart wasn't beating. They brought him to me and he was wearing a gown and a hat and was wrapped in a blanket and he just looked like he was asleep. A perfectly beautiful, healthy baby. He was just dead. The cord was wrapped around his neck and I made the nurse bring him to me but he started to decompose and they made me let him go. So now it's just, it's anything to keep my mind busy. Shopping. I buy things for my girls because I love them. And I want to give them things because I I feel like they could die tomorrow. But my hoarding has gotten so out of control that my ex-husband is threatening to gain full custody. He's found out that we sleep on the couch. We brush our teeth in the kitchen because the kitchen is also the bathroom is full of my crap. When I was 16, I was babysitting my little brother and I was taking all of these drugs and I was unbelievably high. We had to drive over to the park at the lake shore. And he was in his red socks and just running around and he was playing in this pile of leaves and he would bury me and I would bury him in the leaves. And he was pretending that he was a train and I was the train and he kept saying Come on, train. 
come on train and uh, it was time to go I was uh, driving home and uh, I lost control of the car and drove off the bridge and the car went into the lake and I couldn't get him out of his car seat and, and he 